Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interesting life.com. You're joining me on board good old narrowboat Tilly for Dan's Ultimate Boat Basics. I'm trying to talk a little bit quieter in this video as it is midnight and there's a couple of boats around as holiday season is already starting to kick off in the run up to Easter. So Anyway, today we are going to talk about boat licenses and the general basics of what they are. So, the boat license for most of the canal, for about 2,000 miles of canal, you'll need a Canal and River Trust boat license. There's little stretches here and things like the broads that are under a different authority, but we're mainly interested today in talking about the Canal and River Trust license. And when I say boat license, we're not talking about a license in terms of how you might have a driving license for a car that you have to take a test for and that sort of thing. It's simply a payment to basically license your boat to be on the water for whatever period you have. In my case, I've uh, paid for a year every time. And, well, I suppose without further ado, we'll actually talk properly about the costs and exactly what it's all about. So I'll leave a link in the video description here to the Canal and River Trust boat license uh, web page where you'll find the proper, like obviously full in-depth thing as these are boat basics videos, not super in-depth boating videos. And um, really the boat license is a way to help fund the maintenance and running of the canals in general and all of the work that goes on and as you can imagine that's an issue that creates a lot of debate about what should the money be spent on what is it being spent on and so on but we're going to breeze past that so that we don't have to get bogged down in goodness knows what sort of debates and questions as you can imagine it's the sort of thing that goes on endlessly with well and we'll just completely ignore that so we're, ha we're interested in enjoying the canals for a start. That's the main focus. Um, now, on the Canal and River Trust site the, in, in the video link, you'll find the a link to their PDF of what um, the boat licence costs are. Now, the boat licence is based on the length of your boat. So, for example, and this is the cost of licences from... April the 1st, 2016 to the 31st of March in 2017 that we're reading from. Now, Narrowboat Hilly at 30 foot is a very small boat by Narrowboat standards. And at 30 foot, she's categorised as being in the segment of 27 foot 11 to 31 foot 1. So that, for a 12 month licence, and there's also 6 and 3 month licences available, but the 12 month um, licence it would cost me £652.16 as a standard fee. But with the prompt payment, which is basically about a 10% discount if you pay before your current licence ends. So I don't know if that makes sense. Basically, if my licence now was coming up to expiring, I would pay now and get 10% off as a as a rough standard. I don't know if it's exactly 10% or what, how it's worked out exactly, but... Here's an example, so I don't have to just guess and give you random things. Um, so that £652.16 with prompt payment goes down to £586.94, which is about £65. I didn't really do that maths in my head then. I worked it out just before. Um, but basically, so that's 65 quid that I've saved by paying before the current licence ends. If we go right up to the very top end of the scale here, then we have got the classification of 70 foot 7 to 73 foot 9. So that, the standard payment for a 12 month licence, would be £1,132. Prompt payment, yes, £999.29. pence. So again, you can see that's about 100, yeah, literally 110, 111, something like that, pound knocked off the top end. So getting on for double the discount that I get. So it's like a sliding scale. So those are just some examples of the uh, costs. Now, 
they have a slogan, license it or lose it, which really sums up what can ultimately happen if you haven't got your boat licensed. And again, that's the sort of thing you can imagine. There's endless debate about what can be done and can't be done and the legality of all sorts of different things. And you can imagine that's the sort of thing you can go on Facebook, have a look in these um, Facebook groups or start a thread on that topic and see a lot of different opinions start to appear again. We're not particularly um, going to go into depth in this videos we've well i can't believe we've already gone to almost six minutes in that case i will just wrap one thing up finally by saying things unpowered boats and things like kayaks and that are also meant to have licenses and that's something that's an interesting thing because you certainly um I don't know if that's very well known, we'll say that much. Now, me actually being legitimate, I have uh, previously, when I first got the kayak, had a proper actual licence, which is just a blanket, portable, unpowered um, licence. Again, looking on for 2016-17, uh, £50.88 or £45.79 with the prompt payment. Or what I actually have, and in fact it should be just in one of these cupboards here how annoying that it's not right to hand where is it one second my friends here we go what i actually have is a canoe england um, membership which is a couple of pounds cheaper than the prompt payment at the moment the website was saying and this was recorded in um, February, I couldn't think even of the month, yet alone the date. Um, on the website, it is saying that it is £42 for a yearly membership, and whereas a kayak licence, you have to register it in the name and number, basically, of a specific kayak. The This uh, Canoe England membership basically means that whichever kayak I get into is licensed. So if I had a couple of different kayaks, like an inflatable or a rigid one and so on, it, I wouldn't need a specific membership or license for each individual one as one membership, basically, as, as the rules are at the moment and when I signed up at least. Like I say, this is February 2016 I'm recording this. So if it changes, please don't blame me. Um, but basically, I could be in one kayak and then get out of that, and that kayak's like not licensed then, I suppose, technically, and then I'm in another one, and that then becomes my sort of active membership license. If that makes sense, that's not specifically how it's worded, but that's what it sort of means and it explains to you. Anyway, now that we've managed to rack up the longest of these Ultimate Boat Basics videos by far, I'm going to very quickly sign off and say... Please do check out the links in the description if you're interested in seeing more videos, literally hundreds of boating videos on this channel. Feel free to check out my short boat life books for the Kindle as well. You'll find loads of links like that down in the description. But until the next time, as always, keep it boat worthy, keep it license worthy, have a fantastic day and of course, farewell.